Hello, this is Angie. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my fall stash video. Today, we're going to take a count at what is in here. And I know I did a stash video back in the spring. I can't remember what the count was, but we'll look that up. This video will probably make, be made over uh, about a week, this period. And I have started some de-stashing. Um, but this is what I have at the moment. I'm not going crazy with the de-stashing. What I've done is I've gone through and said, what do I really want to work on? And where am I at? Like from where I was in the spring, what did I buy? What did I finish? What do I have left? And what did I let go? Because I've actually let go quite a few kits. So I'm hoping that my stash is under 70, but I'm not sure. It might be more, I don't know. <laughs> Especially if we include my whips. <laughs> so I have over here, I have my assistant who is sleeping on the job. Her name is Kisses. And I have my, my notebook because I do have uh, also a, an Excel worksheet. But, um, yeah, sometimes, I don't know, I get dis different versions of that and I thought I would just keep a quick running note for myself over here of what's what. I do have a box over here from Dreamer Designs. So for Dreamer Designs, I'm going to write down two because I haven't unboxed them yet. So there's two new ones. So we'll count them in the total, okay? And then I have a couple kits that I've ordered that are on the way, but I'm not gonna include those until they're physically in my house. Because this is all about how much room do I have and keeping things reasonable for me. Uh, my stash was getting so big, it was starting to stress me out. Everybody does what they need to do and I don't live in a big house. So I have a book set of bookshelves over here beside me and a shelf in my armoire, my IKEA armoire, that I'm limited to. And my husband said to me, well, how many are in there? It looks like hundreds when I open the shelf. I said, no, it's just one shelf. And I said, they have to fit on the shelf or on the bookcase or I have to start selling some or do some or give some away or whatever that is. Those are the kind of parameters I've set out for myself to stay healthy. Because I have a tendency to go overboard sometimes. Are you surprised? I don't think my husband is. He's known me for over 25 years. <laughs> so anyways, I've written down Dreamer Designs for the two that are over here. And what we're gonna start with is my whips. And I'm gonna put them in my sheet. And then as we go through the pile that's here, I have some that are not in boxes. And then I'll get out all the ones that are in boxes and we'll go through those. And I think most, I, honestly, I think most of my stash is Diamond Art Club, simply because I'm in Canada and the shipping and the duty and all of those things are included. And I keep using my points and my discount code and yeah, I mean, what's not to love about that? The quality's great. You know your stuff's gonna come in a few days most of the time. Yeah, so, you know. But I am trying other companies as well. And I've had been very lucky this year. I had a couple of sneak peeks so far. One from Lazy River and Woodwood Turning and one from Bella Art Diamonds, which, you know, that's just fabulous and yeah. But I had a big summer. I had plans for my summer to do certain things and it didn't happen. So let's get into the stash. So the first thing I have is a DIY moon. And this whip I started for the Break the Silence, the event that started here in October. It is October today. And I started blinging that one up. And I, and I like this kit. I know some people didn't get what they ordered from DIY Moon and the ownership has changed and all the things have changed. 
but I still think it's a good quality kit and I'm enjoying working on it. So I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to do with it now to go to the next one. Next I have, this is going to get tricky because I don't really have, oops, I don't have a very big desk. So what I have is like an old Ikea desk that I got off uh, Facebook Marketplace. And then I have a piece of an old desk that we used to have that used to be like a computer center from Staples. And it was like low quality. So we kept the end square. And you always see that nudged up against my desk because my desk isn't big enough. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I it works. So I just keep doing it. So this is Autumn Glory by Abraham Hunter. That's another whip. And I've actually put this whip on hold because I am now working on this kit from Bella Art Diamonds. This is Pine Tree Haven by Stephen Merrills. And I didn't want to do two, two fall colored kits. I guess they're not really, not really the same. So maybe when I finish this one, I'll go back to this one. But you know, we'll see. <laughs> so I'll put, I love this, this kit from Abraham Hunter. It's just really pretty. That's a Diamond Art Club. So then that's spell Art Dana Cole. So should I put this on my list like chicken scratch bars? So I said I had a DIY Moon and we have DAC one. DIY Moon 1, Bella is 1, so now there we go, so I think we're okay now if I keep writing them down, this sort of haphazard way, and I do love this canvas, it's really super soft on the back, I'm enjoying working on that quite a bit. This is Spooky Doll, it was a new release that I just couldn't resist, super cute, Hannah Lynn. I have discovered Hannah Lynn. My tastes have changed. So there is another DAC. So I'll mark that down. And this is, oh, upside down. <laughs> I had to turn this around. This is Winter Welcome from Joel, from Diamond Art Club by Joel McIntyre. It was released last year. And I just love this kit. I got just to the door here. At the end of last year, I finished half of it. It's like so big. It's like doing two kits. <laughs> and at the same time last year, I was also working on Chuck Pinson Into the Wild. So yeah, I was working on two big squares. I had lost my job then and I was just upset. So yeah, I need to take a break. So there's another DAC. So that's three DACs so far in my whips, four DACs in my whips, because this is Together We Are Magic. And I'm blowing in this one up. As you can see here, I've been putting in crystals. This is a memorial kit for my grandma and grandpa. My grandma passed away this year. And um, to me, this is them together, and I just think it's gorgeous. It's by Jody's, Jody Bergsma. I believe it's discontinued. So that's another one for DAC. Let me check. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six kits. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the two from Dreamer Designs. Okay, good. I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Sometimes I get talking, you know. So under here, we're now going to get into the things that don't have boxes. Okay? These are the things without boxes. So here is... I don't know the name of this one. I think it's like You've Got Mail or Spring Mail or something. I won this from the Crafty Witch. She had a diamond painting event. And this is from, I believe it's uh, Prism Diamond Painting in the UK. So I'll just write them down as Prism. It's the only one I have. And I think it's super cute and it would be a good kit to do in the springtime. So I'm looking forward to doing that one of these days. This is Under a Glowing Moon from Diamond Painting Fanatics. So I'll write them down here, D, P, F, and that's one. And I just love, love, love this kit. Their squares look really good. I just finished a round. I just finished um, 
Angel of Starlight, and I totally blinged that up, but it already had tons of babies in it. But I couldn't resist adding more crystals, because that's just what I like to do. But this one would look really cool with some glow-in-the-dark drills added in. So we'll take a look at that. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to working on this. It's like a little gnome house. Isn't it cute? Did you ever read that book that's called The Littles? It makes me think of The Littles. <laughs> Yes, I loved books when I was little. And this is Aquamarine by Bryn Elizabeth. This is a sneak peek I had from Lazy River Wood Turning. And I'm just loving how this is coming out. I just started working on the top here. I didn't get into it because it was the end of the summer and I just been through a lot. So I'll be picking this one up again soon to keep working on it. So this would be Lazy River, so we'll write that down as one. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And it's another kit from Diamond Painting Fanatics. This is Home Sweet Home. So this is the daytime gnome little house in the tree, little tree house. Isn't that super cute? So that is another one for Diamond Painting Fanatics. This one is 50 by 60. So wouldn't that be fun to hang those together? You know? Yeah, this one's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Yeah, I think these are great. I'm gonna have so much fun working on this. This one is the daytime, so the sky is light blue. So I'll probably put some crystals in it, but knowing Knowing the supplier, there's probably 80s in it already. <laughs> so this is another one from Diamond Painting Fanatics. This is Moaning Mermaid. So that is three from Diamond Painting Fanatics. And yeah, like I said, this is my second JBG from there. So I'll be looking forward to working on that one. That's a round. And then we have another DAC, The Little Mermaid, Monde Manzano. And yes, I know this one is a unicorn for a lot of people. But guys, I'm going to work on it. I am thinking about working on it this Christmas, actually. While I have time to work on a big kit, it's just beautiful. And I'm going to be making some changes to it. So... If I decide to work on it, stay tuned. So that's two for DAC, The Little Mermaid, and Cabin by Joelle McIntyre. I wish they would bring Joelle McIntyre on the, oh, this is the McNeil Studio, sorry. This is the McNeil Studio. And I wish they would bring this one back because I know there are so many people that are just wanting this kit so much. And I love the Joelle McIntyre stuff too. It's just great. This is upside down, sorry. This is Capricorn. It's my, the first Josephine wall I'm going to show you. This is my birth sign. So I better write down Cabin and Capricorn. And, and I'm gonna double check my DAC count before I move to the boxes to make sure I didn't double count something. So this is Capricorn, Josephine Wall, which were discontinued. I really hope they get to bring Josephine Wall back because I just love this kit. I am planning to work on this in January for my birthday. My birthday is January the 6th. And funny enough, my husband and son are also in January. So January is a really busy month. So my son is a Capricorn and my husband is an Aquarius. There you go. It's a busy house. <laughs> And this one is another Josephine Wall, and I ordered this before I knew how big big was. This is Joy to Eve from Uniquely Yours Down Under. And that's the, I think this is the only kit I have from them. And I forgot all about it in my closet. I don't even think this is on my stash list. I don't know. My stash list broke, and then things just happened. So I'll just show you this is... 120 by 90 because everybody needs paintings that are 120 by 90. One of these days I plan to do a customization on this kit. I mentioned in my last stash videos that there were black ABs in here and I want to rip those out and put in something else. 
some dark blue crystals or something like that around the butterfly wings or maybe some brownie bronze colors would be nice. So they, this is a like a rainy day project because this is a big one. <laughs> and I don't know if Uniquely Yours Down Under is is still functional. The last time I looked, they were on vacation or something, so I don't know. I finished another kit from them earlier this year called Rainbow Fairies. It was 100% crystal. That was some major confetti, guys. It really was. So, now we have some more. You see, the reason stuff from DAC isn't in boxes is because last year I thought I was being so smart and I took things out of boxes to get rid of the boxes and I hung it all in my closet. But all I did was lose track of what I had, honestly. And now that I'm wanting to de-stash a couple of things, I don't have boxes to put them in. So this is another DAC here. So it looks like nine thus far. This is C Melody, which I believe is still available, and it's a Manu Manzano. And I love, love, love this kit. I love the stained glass look. I think this would be really cool to do up in all crystal as a rainy day kind of a project. I think that would look really cool. So it's all on my list of things to do. And this is another popular kit from DAC. This is Mountain Castle. I had this kitted up and I have since de-kitted it because I need the storage. I'm just not going to have time to do this one and cabin this year. At Christmas time plus finish winter welcome. It's just too many. So I'm going to write that down, that one, and that one. It's just too many. So this will have to go on the back burner or it might get de -stashed. We'll see. But I know it's still also still available at Diamond Art Club, so I'm not desperate to let this one go. And then I have, right, I forgot about this one. It's a Dreamer Designs, and this is Brano El Coulerie. This is a real place, and I have a picture that looks exactly like it. My husband and I went to Italy uh, before the COVID thing, like a few years before that, and we did the Road to Rome, it was like a big tour, and we actually were here on this island, and on this island are lace makers, and we had the best lunch with the tour, and we walked around, and they had all these like walkways over, and actually in this town, what's cool is, you have to paint your house the color you're assigned. You can't change the, house, the color of your house without checking with like the town council, so all the houses are all these beautiful colors. So I, I'm really looking forward to working on this. So that is another one. So I will think this actually means island of color. Although I, uh, my Italian is like, <laughs> uh, really not great. <laughs> like non-existent pretty much. Oh, got some little doggy hairs in here from my big dog. So I'll be right back with the count, and then I'm gonna go get some boxes. Hey, so I'm back, <laughs> and I did a count, and I had the Diamond Art Club, not quite right. Don't roll off there now, you stay. Let's see, so I have eight DAC, including whips that I showed you, three Diamond Designs, one DIY Moon, one Prism Diamond Painting, one Bella Art Diamonds, three Diamond Painting Fanatics, one Lazy River, and one UYDU. So we're sitting at 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19 so far. So I'm, my little stick people were wrong, so I'm glad that I did that. And I've also gone and rolled them all up and put them away. So now I'm going to show you my Diamond Painting Deutschlands my DPD kits. My handwriting is getting worse because my hands are starting to get sore. So I might have to, like I said, do some of this tomorrow or another day. <laughs> so here are my Josephine walls. So I have Starship. It is 
square and is 90 by 67 and 260 colors. This tube has not been opened. I don't know which one I'm going to do for the event this year. I haven't decided. This one's a strong contender. They're all strong contenders, let's face it, right? Problem is storing them because they roll around, right? So they're on top of my bookshelf. <laughs> Delicately balanced. Then I have Spirit of Flight. And this one is still in the plastic. 100 by 75 centimeters and 275 colors. Yeah. So these ones that are in plastic came in the last shipment. And these ones came on my second order. I finished Bubble Flower and Flight of the Lynx. Those were in my very first order. So I did them. I'm doing in. I have been doing them in order of buying them. So we'll see. Maybe that's a good approach because then it takes the decision out of it. I don't know. <laughs> so then I also have Joy to Vive. I love, love, love this painting. It's 90 by 67 with 220 colors. That is also not being opened. And I thought about de-stashing some of these, but then I would have to order them again because they take so long. It could take me five years to do five paintings, right? By the damn time I do everything else, I don't know. I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. I think, I don't know, shipping them would be crazy or what. And I don't know which ones I would let go. So in this package, I have, it's really heavy, Soul of a Unicorn, which is 90 by 67 in square, 225 colors. And over here I have Crystal Enchantment in round, which is 100 by 77. Ooh, it's a big one. It's not even that the kits are that big well i guess they're big they are it's the number of colors that makes it just that much longer by the time you work through it and the last one i did i um added bling to it too right so i may have just managed to balance those on the top of my bookshelf was i successful or is this going to be like if there's an earthquake they're all going to fall i don't know Maybe I'll ask my husband to help me rearrange that. He's six foot four, he could reach anything. And I see my helper is uh, still sleeping on the job over there at the bottom. You can see her having a nappy bye. She's doing way better, guys. I know I talked about her congestive heart failure, but she has done like this bounce back. It's been great. So this is another one from Diamond Painting Deutschland that I kitted up and I never got to work on because my life kind of went upside down and inside out in the spring. But I will work on it because I love, love, love this. This is a beautiful rose and I have the kitting up for this and I love the squares from Diamond Painting Deutschland. So I am looking forward to working on this one soon. And yeah, so And I'm having coffee in my dog cup. See my dog cup? Of course it's a dog cup. It looks like my old dog Bandit. He was a Bichon Shih Tzu. I think he was more Bichon than anything. He was so stubborn. He was brown and white when we got him and he changed color and became pretty much white. Man, he was stubborn and strong. He was a good boy though. He was a good boy. Mm -hmm. Every time I use my dog cup, I think of Bandit. So there are six Diamond Painting Deutschlands and five J-Walls. So I'm going to put those on my list. So five plus one, five J-Wall. Because I want to keep track of my J-Walls on one rose on my list. So working through. I also have this kit from Dreamer Designs, and this is what I'm actually destashing. It is Porta Rosa by Guido Borelli. So I listed that. I'll be listing this one on Licensed DP Canada for destashing. So 
that's when that's going. Because I just only have time for so many big kits. This one was 90 by 60. So there's another dreamer design for my list. I'm gonna write that down. My list is getting messy. So I know that's the end of my dreamer design. So I'll have four in total. And I have six DPD, one UDYU, three Diamond Painting Fanatics, one Bella, one Prism, and the rest aren't done yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back with another pile of boxes. One sec. So I'm back. So this is the first set of boxes, the ones that are in, oh, there's more in my bookshelf. Just one sec, I missed a shelf. Okay, back again. <laughs> My shelf is now cleaned out. It's really there. So, in no particular order, I'm going to pull these off. This is Abundant Dreams from Diamond Art Club. So there's one, and I'll count the boxes after. So that's a round from Demetra Milan. We have Shaman by Lori Prindle, Diamond Art Club. 84 by 56 in round. We have Raining Fire, also Dietra Milan, 51 by 69 in square. See that got the, I consider these like medium kits. Uh, this is Crows by John Ross McKimmy in square. It's 56 by 76 centimeters. I almost did that one this fall. Then I just added I needed more color. That's interesting because maybe if I hadn't picked that, if I'd picked that one, then I wouldn't have had all the glory going. Uh, so then we have Princess and the Frog, Mandy Manzano in round. I have a Hannah Lynn here. This is the new release, Autumn in round. It's 42 by 60. I have another Hannah Lynn here, Rochelle, 42 by 66. Also a relatively new release. I have Beauty and the Beast by Mandy Manzano. This is 42 by 60 in round. I have La Vie en Rose. It's a round, 42 by 42 by Patrice Murciano. And I've done the other, two of the other kits in the collection of her art. And this is Embrace Spirit. This was a Black Friday release last year. I was thinking about destashing this one, but I haven't decided. It's from Raven Flan and it's discontinued. It was only released once. It's 43 by 61 and it's square. And I think it has glow in the dark drills or electro drills or something. I haven't opened it yet to see. Next are the bigger boxes. This is another Raven Flan. It's Rebirth Awaits. I just love, love, love that one. And we have Steadfast Heart, another Dietra Milan. Oh, those comes were kind of backwards, weren't they? Let's go this way. This is Blue Rose by Laurie Prindle. It's a square and it's a long, thin one. It's 94 by 51. I actually have grandiose plans for this kit. I just love this kit. I have all these kits I love in no time, right? Never enough time. This is The Light Weaver by Raven Falan. It is 56 by 80 in round. And I'll be doing this one day when I need cheering up because look at all that yellow. And it's around, so if I'm feeling down, it's going to be really easy to work on. And then I love this one too. This is uh, Fairy Lights by Ivy Dolamore. She's 56 by 71. I love that kit. And it's square. And we have ready for the ride it's round and i think it was discontinued this is by john sloan it's a christmas kit and it reminds me of my grandma and grandpa they always had um, horses and a huge farm and i remember on the mantle of the fireplace they had the anvil for my great grandpa's uh, was a blacksmith 
um, and he was also a veteran in the World War, First World War, and uh, yeah, so they also had the harness from the workhorse that they had with the bells, sleigh bells and everything. It's really cool, so that'll be a nice kit to do. And then I have this one. This is Russia with Love by David McLean. I love that kit. This is Russia in a different time. It's like a snapshot of frozen in time. One day I'll do that. This is a big one. We're getting into the big ones. This is Garden by the Bay by Joel McIntyre. This is heavy to even hold. This is 118 by 70. And I love sailing and summer, so that image is just my jam. And then I have another one that reminds me of my grandma's farm. This is Home Sweet Home Bluebirds. It's another big one. It's 95 by 70. And it's a square. <laughs> And I think this one's a unicorn, but I don't think I have any plans to destosh this. This is Besides Still Waters by Kim Norlin. It has the loon in the lake. It's kind of like a nighttime dusk picture. I just love this image. It's 105 by 70 in square. So I'm going to count these up now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 DAC and I'll be back with more. Back in a sec. So this is Madame Butterfly from Lazy River Wood Turning. It's around and I'm going to be destashing this kit. It is, oh sorry, Butterfly Wings of the Goddess by artist Heather Woods and Celestial Moon Fire Art. It's a round, it's quite pretty, but I just don't have time. So if you're interested in this kit, I'm gonna have a price list put together. And like I said, I am de-stashing on Licensed DP Canada Facebook group, but you can also reach out to me at Angie's Crafting with Diamonds at gmail.com. And I'm taking PayPal and I will ship to the US if you pay the shipping. I'm in Canada, so yeah, I should let you know that. And then I'll show you some more that I'm going to be destashing that I've decided to destash. So I'm doing this in sections because these were on a separate table from my closet because I started putting them aside. So this is A Leap of Courage by Katrina Coltes. It's a square. It is 65 by 65. I do not know if this is available on the website anymore, but definitely I'm destashing this one. I am destashing Anastasia. It was both of these were Black Friday releases last year. This one's super pretty too. This is by Graciana Zelinska. And both of these kits here have unboxings on my channel if you want to take a look. This one is 60 by 60 in square. I am also destashing this mystery kit. I've decided I'm not a mystery girl. I've already destashed some of my mysteries, but I'm going to let this one go too. This is from Selena Fenich. It was quite quite popular. It's 56 by 80 and I've seen the image. It's gorgeous. If you're interested, send me an email. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, Angie's Crafting with Diamonds as well. This is Friend of the Maidens. And the thing is, guys, I will have already listed my stuff on the Destash website by the time I edit this whole video. So they may or may not be available. But anyway, I thought it was worth mentioning in case they're still available. So this is Friend of the Maidens. It's discontinued. It's a Manny Manzano and I'm destashing this one. It's 43 by 75 because I had two of them. I accidentally got two. I am also destashing Clematis Stained Glass by Peggy Collins. Yeah, I've made some hard decisions. This is 76 by 50 and it looks beautiful. I just can't do all these big kits, guys. 
So I've already let go of 20 big kits over the last last uh, couple couple weeks, or is it a couple months? I don't know. <laughs> but I've just been letting them go as I go through them. I'm just letting them go, and I'm saying it's okay. It's okay. You can let them go. There will be more coming out that you will like, and then you will have more room in your stash after you do some, so then you can buy a few, right? So that's where I'm at with that. I'm trying to be healthy and have some balance. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna add these on. So I have one, two, three, four, five diamond art clubs to add on and I'll be right back. Oh, it's another round of boxes, medium size from my armor and Ikea armors. They hold a lot of stuff, guys. And my husband didn't know they were there for like almost a year, so. <laughs> and one day he went in there and he was like, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> the jig was up and he, he, he's fine. He just, he's worried that I have hundreds of them. Well, I don't know, I don't have hundreds, so you're okay, honey. So here we go with the next batch. We have Wool Gathering by John Sloan. This is 71 by 56. And this reminds me again of my childhood memories, chickens and sheep. And I have Mandy Manzano, Wishing for You. This one's 81 by 56 in round. It's a really cool looking genie. You know what? I probably could have done that for breaking the silence too. Although it looks more blue than purple. I had trouble finding a kit for that event. This is a Hannah Lynn, Neptune and Triton. It's a round 51 by 71. I love, love, love this one. She's so cool. She looks like she's just full of attitude. This one is Dolphins by Christopher Lovell. I just love this kit. I had to wait for it to restock. So I'm keeping it. It's 50 by 74. So everything I'm showing you now, I'm keeping. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Although I could change my mind in two weeks. You never know. This is Moon Goddess. It's in Square by Eau Claire Studio. I have an opening of this on my channel. It says 56 by 84. This is beautiful. It reminds me of Josephine Wall kits. Then I have the Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Manzano. Isn't she pretty? 56 by 89 in round. It's a big one. It's a big round. Then I have Protégé by Dimitro Milan Art. This one's 56 by 66, also a round. I have, this one's upside down. I might as well keep them going the same way. Drawn to the Light by Bruce La Bruce Lakovka. Bruce Lakovka, I hope I'm saying that right. This is 56 by 70, and what I remember this one is it's almost 70 colors, but isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. Then I have Benedict Blue, pretty spring kit. I love the pattern on this. This is a square and it's 50 by 75. So pretty. And then I have this kit that I keep trying to fit in that ever fits in. I keep opening it and looking at it all the time. This is Spring Blossom by Rikia Sophia Raken. It's 56 by 74 and she is just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to add, and I'll be right back. So I'm back with the next set of Diamond Art Club because wait, there's more, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get them back in the closet before my husband gets home because he doesn't really need to see the big pile, right? I wish I had a bigger room and I could show you said pile. But let your imagination just work with that, and we'll add up all the numbers at the end. And I'm going to check them all. I'm going to rewatch the video and make sure that I've got everything in there. I didn't double count anything, so you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So these are so far none of these are coming up or on my D stash list. And what I've decided to do, 
I don't know why my camera's gotten all off kilter here. Um, maybe I just need to adjust it, sorry. Um, what I've decided to do is I am going to uh, link my Google Sheet in the comments below and anything I'm going to de-stash that isn't sold yet on the other on the website on Facebook I will uh, put it there so you can go take a look so it's not so confusing so if you're interested um, if I can put it in the eye in the cards of the video I'll put it there and I'll put it in again in the eye at the end and it'll be down in the description I think that's probably the best because I am keeping a Google Sheet of what I'm de-stashing with the prices and everything. Like I said, if you're in the US, you just have to pay the shipping. Well, actually, you just have to pay the shipping wherever you are. So I'm in Canada, so shipping here is anywhere from $25 to $30 Canadian per kit. So yeah, so anyway, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> so back to the stash video for my arms give out on me. This is another little round that I found in the cupboard. This is a Hannah Lynn. This is Golden Poppy Fairy. Let me put this over here. Like that. I'm rearranging my shelves, um, and cleaning out my craft room. Maybe one of these days I will show you that, but I let it clean it all up first. This is Iridescent by Kelly Eddington. It's an older kit, but I just love this. It's um, abstract art, and I think it's going to be super fun to work on. It is 71 by 56 in square. So that's a nice kit that I like there. And then we have this little baby kit. <laughs> this is Coco, the I think it's the last one or almost the last one of the Patrice Marciano collection. It reminds me of my trip to Paris with all the art and color. Super fun little kit. It's a square. If you've never done a square, this would be a good one to get. It's only 17 by 17, so it's not intimidating. So I like that one too. Actually, if I put that over there on my shelf, I'm gonna forget to count it, aren't I? Holding Poppy Fairy. She needs to go back over here. So we don't lose her like we just did <laughs> already. So now we're getting into the big, big kits. More big kits, okay? Now I let go of some big kits, but this is what's left. I have Josephine Wall Aquarius. It's my husband's horoscope sign, and I just love this image. It's 70 by 89. I bought that on a D-Stash website myself, actually. Then I have, it's, it's, it's in the box, it's called chickens. <laughs> it's actually country ladies. And if I get a chance, I'll throw a picture of it up here. It's a kit I wanna customize for my grandma's barn. It's got all the chickens in the barn. It's really, really cute. It's huge. It's another like 90 by 70 and it's square and it weighs a lot. But yeah, I don't have the box because it's one of those ones where I got rid of the box. Then I have Spirit of Flight, Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. And it's a heavy box. It's 106 by 70. I used to think that all the big kits were all I wanted to work on. Can you tell? <laughs> now I like to have a balance. This is Magical Meeting, also by Josephine Wall. That's 95 by 70. And I also got this off a of D-Stash website because when I started getting into this, they had just discontinued uh, Josephine Wall and I didn't know I liked it. And I watched them go out, but I didn't really, wasn't sure. So I just bought Capricorn. So I also have Virgo. And this is a special kit. So it reminds me of my sister who passed away. Uh, during COVID, not from COVID. She had other health issues, but she was very young. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that for her and it's also just really pretty. So there's that. And now I have another big one. This is uh, Into the Sunset by uh, Chuck Pinson. Uh, it's heavy. <laughs> 95 by 70 in square. Stack, it's a stack. 
And I love Raven Falan, so of course I have the Dragon Store. <laughs> 70 by 99 centimeters because everybody needs kits that are huge, right? <laughs> but I just love that kit. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. One day, right? Then I have another Hannah Lynn. This is Jewel of the Sea. And she came out this year. She's 50, 65 by 81, also in square. And it has some cool drills in there. Some of the new drills. I also have Northern Lights by Hannah Lynn from Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club. These are all Diamond Art Club, by the way. If you aren't looking, the 65 by 87. And I just love, love, love that image. It's so pretty. I have so many to do and not enough time. This is the astronomer that I bought for an event coming up in January. It's 105 by 70 in square. It is huge. There is an event called, um, it gets a DP along. I'll put the link down below. It's on, uh, Mia's running it. Um, it's, uh, Mia's life with KFS on her channel. So go check it out, go check out her channel. And I'll, if I have a link to our Facebook group, I'll throw that in there as well. If you'd like to join us, this is the only kit that's being done during the paint along. So I wanted to support her and it's in January. So you've got lots of time to pick that one up if you're interested. And I have Collide by Dakota Dateweiler. I haven't even had a chance to open this one yet. It's 65 by 87, just a gorgeous looking image. The pile's getting bigger and there's still more. Don't worry, there's more. Here they come. And then I have Hydrangea Garden Birds because I love flowers and birds and all the things. It's by Gina Jane. And this is a big one at 100 by 70 and it feels like it is. This thing has weight. So I've done my exercises on my arms today by lifting all these kits, hey? <laughs> then we have Winter Solace. Reminds me of Banff in Alberta. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 88 by 70. Winter Solace. And it's by Abraham Hunter. It's beautiful. How am I going to get these back in the cupboard? I've got to put them all back. Then I have another Hannah Lynn. This is the new one. I haven't even opened it yet. It's rainy day and she's so, so cute. I couldn't, I had to think about it and I couldn't resist buying this. I really just couldn't. 65 by 88. Just love that. So, so cute. So cute. And my last big DAC kit is a newer release. This is a dragon, an Empower by Raven from Raven Falan, 60 by 85, because I, I thought about this for three weeks before I gave in, and it didn't go out of stock, so I thought, okay, it's meant to be. So I bought this along with the 12 placer from Diamond Art Club, and I am telling you, I love that multi placer, and I am not a multi placing queen, but that is a really nice thin placer. I really like it. So now I have a couple of other big kits. This is, uh, how am I gonna show this? Maybe I'll just open the end so I can show you the picture this way. This is from Diamond Painting Shop. It is <laughs> Fairy, Fairy Garden or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Why don't I know the name of it? I haven't opened it yet, so I don't want to open it. But isn't it pretty? It's so, so pretty. It's 56 by 84. It's resin squares with AB drills. So pretty. I think it's called Fairy Lights. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. If I have don't have their name right, I'll put it, I'll put it where I was just talking so you can see it. And I have another one from Diamond Painting Shop. And I don't know the name of it either, so I'll put the name up on the screen for these. Isn't that cool? I love that. This is also square with resin drills and ABs, and it's 56 by 78. This is so cool and pretty, and I haven't opened these yet, so I don't want to 
like unwrap the box because when I actually work on them I'll do an unboxing on the channel to show it to you before I kit it up okay so now I have this is oh boy I'm going to take the plastic off and try and show you the end of the box this is from Lola Rose Diamonds I do not know if they are still in business but I love this kit this is bed of flowers isn't she just so pretty she's round this came with jelly ab drills it's 31 colors it's 60 by 80. i've just got to work on that one you guys this is like one of my rainy day kits to work on i just love that absolutely adore that image i hope this pile doesn't fall off this is like getting really tall so we're getting down to it. We're getting down to it. Now I have another kit from DIY Moon Shop. This is Bed of Flowers from Margaret Morales. Oh no, <laughs> Bed of Flowers. That was the little rose kit. This is Sleeps with Butterflies by Margaret Morales. It's 50 by 64 in rounds. So I'll be working on that one of these days too. And we're down to the nitty gritty. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna add these up on my sheet. I have the tattoo box of paint gems, the tattoo edition. I haven't cracked that yet. I have the Christmas edition of paint gem. And I also have the cocktails edition, which I kitted up on my channel and I did a couple of those. So I'll just show you. They are all kitted up in my little mini art dot storage. There they are here, and yeah, I had fun with these. I actually blinged up a couple of these paint gems for fun. I think they're here. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Pretty little cocktail. And drinks. And this one reminds me of margarita. So I have them all in here. So I only had two of those, so I guess that counts as a whip. I think I'm going to leave them and work on those next summer. I'm going to go on vacation because they're just like all set to go. See? They have crystals and everything in them. Ready to go. I had a lot of fun working on those. So, can I believe that that is the end of it? Could I believe that? For real? So, let's go back to my sheet. And let's see what's on the sheet. The mess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Diamond Art Clubs. I feel like I didn't write something down though. Uh, I have two Diamond Painting Shop, one Lola Rose, and two Paint Gem, three Paint Gem. Paint Gem, and my writing's getting bad because my hand's actually my hands actually hurt from lifting everything. I think I'm gonna get my son to help me put this all back on the shelves. So I'm gonna flip my camera around back at my desk. And let's see, what do we got here? <laughs> I do not even have a calculator, don't I? My goodness, my, my helper isn't helping, is she? She hasn't helped at all. So I can't think of anywhere that I have any more paintings. I think this is a much more thorough um, stash video than I did last time. I think I missed some things, just oddball things. But I really, really just want to keep track of what I'm doing. Well guys, I'm back and I'm just going to stop the video from yesterday right there because I went back and I hadn't even counted it properly, so I just flipped that off because there was just no point. I think I had 82 kits. And then I realized that the Dragon Charmer was missing by the one from the one with the diamond art. It's a Josephine wall. And it is printed on black and white canvas with a white cover sheet. So, and I'm working on a progress video for that right now, so I can't show you the current view of it because it's changed since I did the video last week. So anyways, there she is. Isn't she cute? So that would have been kit number 83. <laughs> Except that I counted them all wrong. 
So I went back and I actually rewatched my own stash video and here's the summary. So let's take a quick look at that. It's right up here on the screen. So we have one with the diamond art, one kit, three paint gems, four dreamer designs, two DIY moon, one prism diamond painting, one Bella art diamonds, three diamond painting fanatics, two lazy river, one uniquely yours down under, six diamond painting Deutschland, two diamond painting shop, one little rose diamonds, and 65, not 58, diamond art clubs. That's a whopping 91, and that is not under 70 like I thought. So now what? <laughs> On with a little bit more de-stashing. I'll post uh, some links to that down in the body of the video. And if I can put it in the eye here, take a look for that. And I will also be asking you to please like and subscribe and follow me on my stash journey because I'm gonna to have to make some kind of plan as to what I'm gonna do next year. What I thought I was gonna do is not what I'm gonna do. And since I sold 15 or 20 kits recently in the last couple of months, that means my stash would have been up over 100, which to me is absolutely shocking. So again, like and subscribe to uh, get my content and see what's happening with me and what I end up doing. And I'm going to set some goals. This is Angie checking out. Bye.